Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, where I share tips and tricks on how to travel smart and safe. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 5 common scams that you should avoid in Phuket, Thailand. Phuket is a beautiful island with stunning beaches, temples, and nightlife. But it also has some shady characters who might try to rip you off or ruin your trip. So, without further ado, let's get into the scams. Scam number 1, the jet ski scam. The first scam is the jet ski scam, which is one of the most notorious and widespread scams in Phuket. It works like this. You rent a jet ski from a vendor on the beach, who seems friendly and helpful. You have fun riding the jet ski for a while, and then you return it to the vendor. But then, he points out some scratches or dents on the jet ski that were not there before, and demands that you pay a huge amount of money for the damage. He might even threaten to call the police or get violent if you refuse. The problem is that the jet ski was already damaged before you rented it, and the vendor just covered it up with some temporary paint or stickers. He is trying to scam you by making you pay for something that you did not do. The best way to avoid this scam is to not rent a jet ski at all, or if you really want to, make sure you inspect it carefully before and after using it, and take photos or videos as evidence. You can also ask for a written contract that specifies the condition of the jet ski and the rental fee. Scam number 2, the Tuk Tuk Scam. The second scam is the Tuk Tuk Scam, which involves the iconic three-wheeled taxis that are popular in Thailand. Tuk Tuks are a fun and convenient way to get around Phuket, but they can also be a rip-off if you are not careful. Some Tuk Tuk drivers will charge you an exorbitant amount of money for a short ride, especially if you are a tourist who does not know the normal rates. They might also take you to a different destination than what you asked for, or stop at some shops or attractions along the way, where they get a commission for bringing you in. The best way to avoid this scam is to negotiate the price before getting into the tuk-tuk, and make sure it is clear where you want to go. You can also use a map or a GPS app to check if the driver is taking you on the right route. If possible, use a metered taxi or a ride-hailing app instead of a tuk-tuk, as they are more reliable and transparent. Scam number 3, the Taylor Scam. The third scam is the Taylor Scam, which targets people who are looking for custom-made clothes in Phuket. There are many tailors in Phuket who offer to make suits, dresses, shirts, and other garments for cheap prices and fast delivery. However, some of them are not honest and will try to scam you by using low-quality materials, poor craftsmanship, or false advertising. They might also pressure you into buying more items than you need, or charge you extra fees for alterations or shipping. The best way to avoid this scam is to do some research before choosing a tailor, and look for reviews or recommendations from other customers. You can also compare prices and quality among different tailors, and ask for samples or guarantees of their work. You should also be wary of any tailor who approaches you on the street or in your hotel lobby, as they are likely to be scammers. Scam number 4, the timeshare scam. The fourth scam is the timeshare scam, which involves selling or renting vacation properties in Phuket. You might be approached by someone who offers you a free gift or a lottery ticket if you attend a presentation about their timeshare program. They might claim that their timeshare is a great investment opportunity that will save you money and give you access to luxury resorts around the world. However, this is usually a lie. And they are trying to lure you into signing a contract that will bind you to pay high fees and charges for years, without any guarantee of availability or quality of the properties. The best way to avoid this scam is to ignore any offers or invitations to attend a timeshare presentation, no matter how tempting they sound. You should also never sign anything without reading it carefully and consulting a lawyer. If you're already trapped in a timeshare contract, you can try to cancel it or sell it, but be careful of other scammers who might offer to help you for a fee. Scam number 5, the cute pet scam. The fifth and final scam is the cute pet scam, which targets animal lovers who visit Phuket. You might see some adorable puppies or kittens on the street, and a local person will offer to sell them to you for a cheap price. You might think that you are doing a good deed by rescuing them from the streets, but in reality, you are being scammed. The pets are usually stolen from their owners or bred in horrible conditions, and they are often sick or infected with diseases. The seller will also charge you extra for vaccinations, certificates, or transportation fees, which are either fake or unnecessary. The best way to avoid this scam is to never buy any pets from the street or from strangers. If you want to adopt a pet in Phuket, you should go to a reputable animal shelter or rescue organization, where you can find healthy and happy animals that need a loving home. You should also be aware of the rules and regulations of bringing pets back to your country, as they may vary depending on your destination. 
These are some of the most common scams that you should watch out for in Phuket and Thailand. I hope this video was helpful and informative, and that you have a wonderful and safe trip. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.